Good morning everybody, so it's Tuesday today, uh, not only are we having to check what day of the week it is, we're also having to check what the weather is going to be like before we start off. Um, today seems to be the best day of the week, uh, dry mostly, although it doesn't look too promising, promising at the minute, but it is um, supposedly going to be a dry day today. So if like me, you were holding off your washing, this is the day to try and get it out, to get it dried. Um, I hope everybody's had a good night and uh, looking forward to spending the rest of the week uh, in after today with the rain, hopefully not, but um, certainly today a wee bit better weather. Um, everybody seems to still be doing okay, no um, reports of ill effects with anyone at the minute, so that's a good thing uh, and everybody seems to be still managing to keep in touch with uh, their friends and um, other members of the congregation that are busy um, giving them a wee call from time to time. So um, I've still also got Irene running round the whole of East Bride with cakes. Um, so thanks for those that are continuing to um, let us know and Irene's collecting, offering envelopes and money and um, money through the door, the church and all these things. So thanks everybody that um, continuing to do that to support the church. Uh, I don't know if you've been past, the wee gardens are looking good with the bark down. Uh, we ha I have got a picture which we really should put on the the Facebook page and the website of uh, Lillian and I think Irene and Bill trying to get the banner off the wall. We need some taller people to go and get that banner down. Uh, we did try, honestly, so I really should put that picture up to let you see um, the fun and the laughter of them all trying to get the banner down but apart from that the um, gardens are looking good so that's a wee improvement anyway at the minute no further move on getting back into the church uh, no churches seem to be making much of a move um, at the minute uh, the the guidelines that we've had are quite um, stringent and strict so we are taking time as all churches are I think to make sure that before we can open the church, we have all the correct things in place uh, and uh, that, that will probably take us a good amount of time to make sure we're doing the right thing. So we're still continuing to follow the guidelines sent by the Church of Scotland, who in turn are continuing to follow the guidelines set by the First Minister. So um, a wee kind of domino effect there. We are all waiting for them, and they are all waiting for them, and they are all waiting for them. So we, we are trying to do the right thing, um, and just waiting to be told exactly what it is. But we have got things going on in the background. We have got um, a wee group trying to um, make sure that we do have all the correct things in place that we'll need, uh, uh, so that if by any chance we are able to open up any time soon or not so soon, then we've got all the things that we need. So um, we're continuing to do that. So uh, this week I have been reading some stories about women in the Bible. Uh, and I've got quite a long one today, I apologise. Um, Genesis chapter 24 I'm going to read. And it's the story about um, Rebecca. So it's a wee bit long, but just need to bear with me. So this is Genesis chapter 24. Abraham was now very old and the Lord had blessed him in everything he did. He said to his oldest servant who was in charge of all that he had, Place your hand between my thighs and make a vow. I want you to make a vow in the name of the Lord, the Lord God of heaven and earth, that you will not choose a wife for my son from the people here in Canaan. You must go back to the country where I was born and get a wife for my son Isaac from among my relatives. But the servant asked, what if the young woman will not leave her home to come with me to this land? Shall I send your son back to the land you came from? Abraham answered, Make sure that you don't send my son back there. The Lord, the God of heaven, brought me from the home of my father and from the land of my relatives, and he solemnly promised me that he would give this land to my descendants. He will send his angel before you so that you can get a wife there for my son. If the young woman is not willing to come with you, you will be free from this promise, but you must not under any circumstances take my son back there. 
So the servant put his hand between the thighs of Abraham, his master, and made a vow to do what Abraham had asked. The servant, who was in charge of Abraham's property, took ten of his master's camels and went to the city where Nahar had lived in northern Mesopotamia. When he arrived, he looked, he made the camels kneel down at the well outside the city. It was late afternoon, the time when women came out to get the water. He prayed, Lord God of my master Abraham, give me success today and keep your promise to my master. Here I am at the well where the young women of the city will be coming to get water. I will say to one of them, please lower your jar and let me have a drink. If she says, drink and I will also bring water for your camels, may she be the one that you have chosen for your servant Isaac. If this happens, I will know that you have kept your promise to my master. Before he'd finished praying, Rebecca arrived with a water jar on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethel, who was the son of Abraham's brother Nehor and his wife Milcha. She was a very beautiful young woman and still a virgin. She went down to the well, filled her jar and came back. The servant ran to meet her and said, Please give me a drink of water from your jar. She said, Drink, sir, and quickly lowered her jar from her shoulder and held it while he drank. When he'd finished, she said, I will also bring water for your camels and let them have all they want. She quickly emptied her jar into the animal's drinking trough and ran to the well to get more water, until she'd watered all his camels. The man kept watching her in silence to see if the Lord had given him success. When she'd finished, the man took an expensive gold ring and put it in her nose and put two large gold bracelets on her arms. He said, Please, tell me who your father is. Is there any room in his house for my men and me to spend the night? My father is Bethuel, son of Nehor and Milcha, she answered. There is plenty of straw and fodder at our house, and there is a place for you to stay. Then the man knelt down and worshipped the Lord. He said, Praise the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who has faithfully kept his promise to my master. The Lord has led me straight to my master's relatives. And I mean, and I think what I'll do is I'll stop there and we'll maybe have the other half of the story of Rebecca tomorrow. So um, I hope that you can, if you would like to have a wee read at it yourself, it's Genesis chapter 24. And that today stopped at... Um, well somewhere in the middle and tomorrow we'll start again and um, read the rest rather than read it all because it's quite lengthy but it's the story of Rebecca uh, from Genesis chapter 24 so <clears throat> I think today um, I'm going to see the wee wool shop in Blantyre is opening up today so I think I might be taking a wee trip down there I've started a wee cardigan for Brody, and I'm not sure I've got enough wool to finish it which is a bit of a disaster um, so I'm going to go down and see if I can get another ball of wool down there I think that's where I got it yeah, and have a wee look at some more patterns um, I was doing some knitting for Brody, but I think before he can get them he's going to be too big because he has a bit of a big bruiser um, so I think um, some of them are going to be too small and I have started another one for him I thought I'll try a bigger size but I think he'll be about 15 by that time that one fits him so um, I'm going to go and try and get a wee bit wool to finish that today. So I hope you've got plenty of things to keep you busy. Uh, I certainly have lots of things to do. It's about getting your mind on to trying to get something done. So keep busy, keep well, keep in, get your washing done and get your washing out. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.